Nicolas Maduro was elected president of Venezuela one month after the death of his predecessor, Hugo Chavez. While the people mourned, the right-wing adversaries of the Bolivarian Revolution rejoiced at Chavez's death, convinced that without Chavez's charisma, the revolution would fall apart. The reactionary presidential candidate, Enrique Capriles Oreronsky, who had been defeated by Chavez in 2012, ran against Maduro. But once again, he was defeated. Capriles did not graciously accept his defeat, however. He accused Maduro of stealing the election. The opposition then turned to violence, inciting its supporters to take to the streets and rise up against a constitutionally elected government. But the move failed. In the year that followed, the opposition turned to economic warfare, hoarding and speculation sought to undermine popular support for the revolution. From February 2014, they turned to violent protests again. The so-called Warimbas resulted in 43 deaths, mostly of government supporters. The revolt failed and the revolution continued its course, but the aggressions against Maduro's government continued. The aggressions culminated in a March 2015 executive order by U.S. President Barack Obama declaring Venezuela to be a threat. The executive decree backfired badly, generating indignation from the hemisphere's governments and civil society, as well as massive worldwide solidarity with Venezuela's Bolivarian revolution. With each attack by its enemies, both internal and external, the government of Nicolas Maduro has only become more legitimate and solid.